Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the Dr. U U T lectures. In today's discussion, we will discuss with you guys the difference between masturbation and sex with your partner. Well, uh, during the masturbation or uh, when you are having sex with your partner, there are certain hormones released in the body. And some of those hormones uh, are actually mentioned in our this lecture. And I will discuss with you guys a moment later. So the very first of those is the dopamine. Then we have prolactin. Then we have oxytocin. So what is happening, first of all, during the sex? During the sex, uh, there will be the release of the dopamine. And this dopamine will be, uh, have, will be released in a very uh, quick manner. And uh, a very large amount will be released. You can say dopamine rush will be there. And uh, in the meanwhile, when you reach orgasm, when you ejaculate, when you orgasm, okay, after the ejaculation, so you feel, uh, you, uh, you, get, you get a kind of satisfaction. That is called actually a kind of uh, orgasm, okay? So when you ejaculate, when you orgasm, so then what happens, this increased level shoots down. Instead, uh, it was supposed to be uh, on this level, which is called as a baseline. So this level of dopamine shoots down than the baseline. So now this is actually not good for your body. Why? Because here in the body, there is prolactin. Prolactin being released. So now these two must antagonize. Dopamine must antagonize the prolactin. Now here, prolactin is synthesized, is produced in the body. In the meanwhile, when you are having orgasm, okay? When you ejaculate, when you orgasm, so then there is the release of the prolactin. Now this prolactin is supposed to be inhibited by the dopamine. Now that dopamine concentration is very less. So when dopamine shoots down the, below the baseline, so what happens then, then prolactin produced uh, will start accumulating in the uh, blood, meaning it will be entering in the blood. So it should be uh, now available in the blood. So the higher the concentration of the prolactin in the blood will lead you to uh, satiety. Means like you will feel now a kind full from the sex. You will not go for sex again. In the meanwhile, okay, there is a kind of duration about 15 to 20 minutes regarding uh, prolactin. So now this is the prolactin that is actually uh, leading you towards the uh, a kind, leading you towards the, the decrease in the sex drive. So your sex drive will go down for about 15 to 20 minutes. That is because of this prolactin. Now, this prolactin is uh, responsible uh, to do what to you, especially to the guys, male boy. Prolactin will decrease your sex drive and it will lead you towards the infertility. And it may also lead you towards the decrease in the production of the sperm. And uh, if it is released uh, for a very long period in your body, I mean, you are doing masturbation several times. So, that uh, long time masturbation will lead you towards the problem that is actually no sperm production at all because this prolactin has got interaction with certain other uh, hormones in your body certain other tissues in your body certain other chemicals in your body so this prolactin is a very dangerous type of the chemical so now what are you what you are doing is you are doing masturbation so the frequency that you are increasing of the masturbation that increased frequency will lead you towards destruction of this type it will lead you towards the uh, Sex drive destruction means you will have a, a kind of a disability uh, in your erection problem. So erectile dysfunction will be actually seen by you. Means if you're repeating too many times the masturbation. So this masturbation will lead you towards this kind of a problem. And it is depending upon the guys, okay? So it may harm some guys and it may not harm some guys that much. But it is harm, okay, when you are doing masturbation. After all, so in short, I'm discussing here with you guys. Uh, oxytocin, prolactin, these are hormones responsible to damage you, to damage your sexual activity, to damage your sexual life uh, with your partner. So if you're doing it yourself, you are actually destroying yourself. When you're doing it with your partner, then this uh, actually changes. Why? Because with your partner, there is involvement of certain other hormones also, like oxytocin and some other hormones are there. Now, oxytocin is actually a touch hormone, cradle hormone, love hormone. So when you have this oxytocin with your partner, Means there is a curdle between the two, between, between, I mean that when there is sex between two guys, so one is your partner and one you are there. So when you guys are doing this and there is a touch being there observed, that touch is actually uh, providing another hormone to you, oxytocin. So when there is actually combination and release of certain hormones in the body, means, uh, I mean, if you are doing the sex with your partner, so then there will be the release of certain other hormones also. Now those hormones which are released, uh, when you're doing sex with your partner, those hormones are actually then uh, a kind giving you uh, satisfaction and a kind protecting you. Those hormones which are released when you are doing sex with your partner. So sex with the partner is helping you release some more hormones. In short, in short, okay? Sex with the partner will help you 
in release of some more hormones. Now those hormones and the hormones that you have released in your body through the sex. So now all these will combine together and then you will be having a better sex life. So if you're doing a masturbation, so then actually you are depriving yourself of certain other hormones, which are supposed to be released during the sex with a partner. So now you're not doing sex with the partner, you're doing sex with yourself. So you are actually destroying yourself. And you guys know, when you're doing the sex with the another person who is not of the opposite gender, means if you are gay, so you will actually go through certain other complications. Right? Because it is all about the opposite sex that is supposed to uh, help you uh, guys to release certain hormones in your body. So, in short, this is a game of hormones, okay? Now, the hormones released by yourself are actually less. When you interact with someone else, means uh, with the one that is your legal partner. Legal partner. What? Legal partner, okay? So, when you interact with the legal partner, you will feel uh, much safe and you will not go through certain complications, through certain harms. So, that's uh, how about uh, the hormones are actually doing, the chemicals are doing in your body. And... Uh, at the end, I would just uh, love to tell you people that there is a very uh, logical uh, statement in the holy book of uh, Islam, that is Quran. So when you just go aside from the one that is actually your legal partner, you will have different kind of complications. And uh, there is, if somebody knows the grammar of the Quran and the grammar of the Arabic, so they will understand uh, the, the, the meaning of this ayah. So the certain other ayah are also available. So in short, if we follow being a Muslim, if we follow Quran, so in the Quran, it is already mentioned that please stay with your legal partner. So when we stay with a legal partner, we are safe. And this is how the science is telling us. So when you have sex with your legal partner, uh, sex with a partner, this will happen. And uh, Quran is actually telling us in advance in a very simple way that please stay with the one that is your legal one and you have your sex with that. Don't do yourself, don't do masturbation because you are actually uh, leading yourself towards certain complications in future. Well, so that is a little bit of discussion from my side with you guys. I hope you got And that's a lot. Thank you for watching. <laughs>